Today we're going to be showing you guys how to get more FPS on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Meaning that this works on console, PC, and lastly, mobile. I really hold these hopes, you guys. I know a lot of y'all are struggling. Trust me. I know how that feels. Now, first things first, we're going to show the obvious and then we're going to get into the nitty gritty that should be helping all of you guys. First things first, obviously, you go to your video settings, you scroll down and anything from fancy leaves and below, you kind of want to turn off. So you want to have fancy leaves off, fancy bubbles, render clouds, beautiful skies, smooth lighting. I actually don't know if that makes an impact. I think you can keep this mm, actually turn it off. Fancy graphics, this is what's gonna make a big, big impact. It's gonna make your game look so bad, but I mean, you if you need the FPS, you gotta do it, so boom. FOV could be altered by gameplay, you can keep that on. UI, you can keep that on. The new you diet screen, my, oh, it is experimental, so you probably wanna have this off. Extra large new UI, you wanna have that off. Improved input response, you wanna have this off. Cause you can see what the settings of this say at the end, this setting might use more battery power and you do not want that. I don't know if this is on mobile, I don't know if this is on console but make sure that this is off obviously render distance you want to make sure that this is all the way at the lowest that can go and we're about to use a texture pack i'm about to show y'all a texture pack that can actually lower the render distance even more which will greatly greatly improve your fps max frame rate now make sure that this is not unlimited especially if your device is a low-end device you want to have this on exactly 60 because obviously if you go above 60 and your device cannot handle you know over 60 fps then it's going to cause your game to bottleneck or your computer to bottleneck and then you going to get lag spikes and if you get lag spikes it's, it's just it's just a horrible horrible experience you don't want to deal with it so if your device is not that good make sure your fps is on 60. anti-analyzing i don't know if this actually makes a big difference but i mean if you want to you could put it all the way down put it on one and then voila and then what you can do is just leave minecraft come back into it you should be chilling i don't think you need to really restart it but yeah now we're going to get into the nitty gritty the three texture packs that you want to use or actually two of them it just depends on the combo but the main one that you always want to have enabled is render distance limiter now this this obviously does what it says it limits your render distance which obviously improves your fps but obviously you're not going to be able to see as much in front of you so if you're trying to pvp this is really not for you but we can enable this render distance limiter and we can go to the settings and you can see that we have the resolution which is a render distance so we can go all the way to the bottom to the very very lowest which is two i mean you could do four but two is the lowest and this is going to greatly improve your fps boom good and now you want to have one of these packs enabled i actually recommend using this fps plus v4 because with this pack it completely disables all particles so we're gonna about to go into a world and show this real quick but all particles like if you break a block if you use like a potion anything it's just completely disabled and if you guys didn't know particles do decrease your fps so this is very much needed. Do we have any extra settings? No, we don't. And look how, look, look how, it's not even a megabyte. Not even a megabyte. That's how you know how optimized this is. Oh my God, my game is gonna look so crazy. And oh my God, yep. So now this is looking like the first version of Minecraft. <laughs> you can see that there is like literally no shadows, no textures whatsoever. And you can see that the render distance is working. I mean, we literally can't see in front of us. And I think it is actually doable for PVP. I thought you was not gonna be able to like see like in front of you, in front of you. but yeah you can and since i'm on 240 hertz i'm gonna put this on unlimited because my game feels laggy with 60 fps it's just a 240 hertz issue if you know you know but yeah look at this dang this looks crazy but like i said this is gonna greatly improve your fps now if we try to break in a block you see that this literally no texture let's go on survival real quick and you can see if we yeah this literally just no none of that perfect we gotta test the tnt the flint and steel tnt i haven't seen this yet hold up wait let's see this oh my god yeah so there is no particles from the tnt um which is awesome i should have done a true test like put like what a thousand tnt and just blow it all up you know i mean i don't think minecraft could normally handle that you know what i mean some of this tnt i don't think it's a really true true test but i mean yeah we could just try it out i guess yeah literally no particles that's crazy kind of want to see if there's particles from the you know the nether portal as well i doubt there's gonna be but i mean it doesn't hurt to try god i'm really not used to my game looking like this this is crazy but yeah there is oh there is particles but i mean it's not really a biggie that doesn't really do too much to your fps you know it's nothing crazy but yeah that is there i want to kind of see how the nether looks and oh my god i think we're gonna go in a hive after this oh my god i think the last time we went in a hive you was using like a crazy good looking shader and now we're gonna go into it and it's gonna, yeah 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 mm. another thing as well is that it does disable the animation so all the fire animations that you normally would see it is completely disabled which helps a lot you'd be surprised but it does kind of you know decrease your fps so yeah 
every animation fire anything is completely disabled oh this would help for pvp as well and i didn't think this would actually decrease your fps but apparently i think it does when you throw these splash potions apparently you know they have like a little particle that comes out of it i mean not anymore with this pack you can see yeah that's just complete that's just non-existent it's just boom you'd normally see a lot of particles coming out of it but that is completely gone so yeah normally this pack combo would be the best and then i mean if you're not liking this pack combo you can also try sodium as well but i highly suggest you guys using you know this one fps v4 on the top and red resistance limiter on the bottom or you could just disable the fps v4 and use sodium which optimizes and i think it's almost the same thing i mean it's literally the same megabytes as fps we can go into the world real quick and see what it changes i think it's literally like the exact same thing but let's just double check real quick and yeah it's pretty much the same thing um yep just that there's that and yeah it's literally the same thing so <laughs> there's no point of having either i mean you could have sodium or you could have fps it doesn't matter um one or the other is fine they're both literally the same pack so if i think if you enable both packs it might cause like a little error in minecraft because it's literally the same thing kind of so make sure you just use either sodium or use fps v4 it does not matter um i'll have all three of the pack links in the description below so you guys can download them but like I said, make sure you have render distance enabled, um, the limiter enabled, and then you can have either sodium or FPS. It doesn't matter. It's it's the same thing. Literally. After that, that is pretty much it. I'm trying to make sure that this video is more friendly towards, you know, mobile PC and console, not just PC, because I know a lot of you guys don't really have PCs or a lot of you guys don't have a mobile. You know what I mean? Like it's one or the other. So I'm trying to make sure all you guys are covered. And I really, really hope that this helps. If it did, please let me know in the comment section below. And also join my Discord server and put a pack that should increase your FPS. If there's any other out there, please let your boy Patar know. I'm trying to help you guys. But thank you guys for watching the video. It is your boy Patar. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.